What's up guys, I'm here with my Naruto manga review for chapter 674. There was a ton of stuff that happened in this chapter. We had the battle between Madara and Sasuke and Naruto, which was a pretty epic battle. Actually seeing, you know, Sasuke using his strategies. And then Madara kind of like, you know, seeing how Sasuke was using his Renegon, trying to actually see how he was using it, see what he was able to do with it. And he was just, you know, looking at that. So, and then they found out they have two Madaras. Now, one's in Limbo, which is an invisible world. That only Sasuke can see because he has the Renegon. Mara kind of surprised about that, actually seeing that Sasuke can actually see the other Mara in Limbo. So that was pretty cool how Mara was actually able to clone himself in an invisible world, but that didn't really work out because Sasuke can see him, so that was a fail. And then, you know, he'll kind of like, Mara kind of like, you know, kind of see how Sasuke activated the Renegon. Like, you know, he said he locked it just like me, just the way I did it. And he was kind of like, you know, in a way, he was kind of like, admiring Sasuke seeing that he actually activated the Renegon the way he did which kind of like you know made him feel a little bit more and I was kind of think about the connection between him like the connection between us is more than blood now I'm kind of wondering what that means because I mean obviously they're in the same clan they're in, like of course they related by blood but there could be something else that connects Madara and Sasuke now my guess is Indra's chakra because the Sage of Six Path kind of you know said that Madara and Hashirama you know he was Ashura and then Madara was Indra so and now Sasuke's Indra in a way, and not with Ashura, so Madara and Sasuke are basically connected to each other by Indra's chakra, so that makes sense. So seeing Naruto and Sasuke actually working together to, you know, defeat Madara and everything, even though Sasuke had like a strategy, Naruto's like, yeah, it irks me to like, want to obey you and everything, but I gotta do it, so I kind of see Naruto actually still being the same a little bit. Sasuke's like, will you just listen to me? And then trying to, you know, form a strategy to defeat Madara and everything. And then we had Madara actually, you know, kind of observing Sasuke, seeing how is he has like good instincts, he keeps calm in battle all the time, and he has good judgment, and he was like, I wish Sasuke was born before Obito, I could have used him, because, you know, he's saying that Sasuke is more smarter than, you know, uh, Obito, like, he has good instinct and everything, he can make good plans, and he just keeps calm in battle, so it's pretty awesome that Myra actually noticed that, and that basically is Trace of Sasuke, he will keep calm in battle at all times, but he doesn't really care, and he will, you know, make good strategies like he did with most of his other fights. I mean, yeah, Sasuke is a smart boy. I mean, even his burn note noticed that he didn't really expect him to do half the stuff he did in that battle, and therefore, you know, he showed him what he was truly like, what kind of person he really is, the strategy rise, and just seeing how he was able to come up with so many good plans and stuff like that. We also have Madara actually, you know, kind of like seeing them like, hey, I gotta take them serious. They aren't just some kids. Therefore, you know, he's taking it a bit more serious now. I can actually see it because, you know, you see how he isn't laughing about getting beat up anymore. He over here taking serious guy a serious face on. He's ready. I mean, Madara is really kind of nervous a bit. Actually, you know, seeing them actually unlocking their true potential, seeing how they've grown stronger and everything. Therefore, he's not really laughing. He's not really playing around as much anymore. Then Madara was like, I gotta get both of my Renegons. guns. I'll talk about this in a second, but you know, we had Shikaku actually offering to help out Naruto. And that, like, Shikaku really? I mean, he really hated Naruto. And just to see him actually, you know, offering his ceiling to help Naruto out. And he was like, um, thank, he didn't really expect it either. I didn't really expect him to actually, you know, offer Naruto help. I guess Shikaku is basically like, hey, I'm inside Naruto now, I gotta help him out at least. And so he won't have the world ending. But my favorite part of this chapter was, like, use your Herman attack. And then he formed a Dory, and Naruto formed his Rasengan. And then he's like, hey, attack at me. And there was Mara, like, right in the middle of them. They both attacked to the side, and he was, like, right there, standing in the middle. I was like, really? You expect them not to see you when you're right there. That was pretty cool, and that was kind of like a little decoy so you can actually, you know, escape a little bit. Madara started running away. He over here running away. I meant, really? I was like, no. He over here running away. I mean, I thought it was talking too much for him. He had to run. And there he, they go Kakashi over there, panting. He, you know, he's out of breath and everything. And then Madara just swoops by, take his, takes his eye. I was like, no way. He finally lost his charring gun. And I was like, uh-uh. Kashi has had that Chang'an forever, and he like, just lost it because of Madara. But I do see his plan. I, it's a pretty nice plan. Madara, like, Madara was planning on taking his eye. Therefore, he knew Obita was in the other dimension. So he's going to use the Kamui to be able to go into the dimension and get Obito so he can get his Renegon. That's what Madara's going to do. I mean, obviously, it was down in the caption below, but I actually you know, thought about that a little bit. And that's what he's planning to do. He's going to take... Obito's eye. I mean, yeah, we had we, we did have Sakura and Obito talking a little bit. Obito was like, "Hey, you gotta crush my Renegon and everything, so I can't let 
oh my right get it and then he was like I can't control Zetsu anymore so obviously Obito just might die I just see him dying cause my right probably fed up with him actually betraying him and everything so he might just like take his eye and then just kill Obito right there I mean we all know my right gonna get his eye back I mean you're interesting Sakura with crushing the Renegon I mean she's already and everything saying I know so can she do it fast enough before Madara can actually appear there? I mean, obviously she's gonna like be right in front of him and everything. What will Madara do to Sakura? Like, it's just gonna be him, Obito, and Sakura in that room. I mean, obviously he can just kill everyone in there and take his eye back. I mean, what can Sakura do? Sakura's locked in a room with a half-dead dude, a super pissed off OP dude and herself I mean what can Sakura do in that moment she just be looking at Myra like look at her and looking at him like death and everything I don't think Myra has a reason to kill Sakura I don't think that he will he just probably will get that get his eye back and then leave so let's see how that works out the guys watching this chapter was amazing seeing the battle between Naruto Sasuke and Myra seeing the strategy and everything everything I explained in this video it was a pretty hectic ch chapter it has so much going on in it at once and it just has so much information so I gave this chapter a 10 out of 10 loved it so much it was so much action in this chapter so much suspense actually seeing Kakashi lose his Sharingan dang I did not expect that so thank you guys for watching be sure to thumbs up or Sakura gonna take down Madara and I'll catch you guys later I'm just playing you so screwed Sakura and I'm out